Chef Judd Flynn from Onsite Culinary Solutions here in Blacksburg, Virginia. Today I'd like to show you how to break down a whole artichoke, which is part of the ACF practical exam. First we're going to make a sigillated liquid. Sigillated liquid literally means acid in water. Okay? So in this case, fresh lemons squeezed and just plain water currently. What that's going to do is the artichokes are enzyme active browning, meaning as soon as oxygen hits the raw flesh, they will start changing color just like an apple would. So, what we need to do is the water is made first. I use a French knife. The particular knife I choose to use is a French serrated knife, mainly because, as you can see, the artichoke is a tough, tough vegetable, also known by many as in the thistle family. Okay, we clean our scrap up, remove any of the large sucker leaves on the outside. To help facilitate a faster cooking time. We will then come back in part B and work on the final trimming. This is where we're going with the artichoke. To continue on with the other two. Again, as quickly as you can, get that into the sigillated water and make sure they're totally submerged. To keep them totally submerged, what we can use is either some type of strainer to keep them below the liquid, or in this case, a dinner plate would suffice. This as long as we're able to keep the liquid high enough to be able to push them down. That is it for now. We'll be coming back in a lapse time of about 35 minutes to do the final removal of the choke. Okay, our total lapse time for the, for the cooking of the artichokes is about 35 minutes. As you can see, the acidulated liquid here, which keeps the enzyme active browning going on for the artichokes. We finally got the artichokes where they're fork tender. You can tell by squeezing, they're extremely hot. So then we go straight into our ice bath. Ice bath is used just to stop the cooking immediately. Then we can have further fabrication of the artichoke to be used for a second preparation or final preparation. Okay, we talked about what the acidulated liquid does. It keeps the enzyme active browning from happening. Meaning that it keeps it from turning to a gray, muddy color. Now, one, one has the good thing are the lemon acidulated liquid does. The bad thing does is chlorophyll and acid do not get along. In, in, in essence, what that means is that the acid pulls the green color away. The sharp green color in which we had used from the very beginning. What you're left with is kind of a pale green. That is what it is. That's the best we can hope for, but at least it's not a muddy gray. Okay? That's how we... Once we have the artichokes cold enough to handle, we'll pull one from the bottom. Our next step. Flexible knife. Boning knife is the way to go. We do want to keep the stem intact. The stem is edible. So we come in and actually carve the knife around to the side and pull these outer leaves off. Sometimes it'll come off nice and gently for you. Sometimes you got to take your knife and peel them. What we're looking for, our final destination, is some of the tougher mealy leaves need to be removed. Okay? We're left with this product right here. So we'll get everything to this point. We'll start with the next one. We use our fingers. This is perfect. Perfect artichoke. Still holds its shape, but is fork tender. That's what we're looking for. Any of the tough leaves have to come off. You have to take your knife, and do that. Trim the end off, as you can see. Put 
Look how tender that is. That's, that's a beautiful artichoke. Next step is the choke, removal of the choke. The choke is the very center of the artichoke. The artichoke is in the thistle family. So with that being in mind, two tools that I choose to use. One is the fork. Right in the middle, and I'll show you what the choke looks like. Pull the inside out. I will totally dissect this one so you can see. Right here in this section, it kind of looks like fuzz or fur. That is the choke. It's inedible. It can get caught in your throat and make you choke, hence the name, artichoke. The melon baller helps to scrape off the bottom, reaching to the bottom of the choke itself. This would be considered an artichoke bottom, perfect for topping a filet mignon and then pouring Bernays over top. A nice little capsule for a, a canopy appetizer, if you would like. But to leave the whole thing intact, and leaving the heart, come in here like this, taking the, the fork, perfect device, spinning it around, open the center up, coming in with the melon baller, and using that to scrape. If we let these artichokes cool a little bit more, they will firm up and it will be an easier task to do. That's how you clean an artichoke. Thank you.